The Science of NHL Hockey, Physics on Ice Ice hockey is an exhilarating sport. The speed, skill, and brutality on display captivate millions of fans worldwide. But have you ever stopped to think about the scientific principles at play behind the scenes? From the basic physics of skating to the complex dynamics of slap shots, ice hockey is a sport that perfectly combines athleticism and science. One of the fundamental aspects of ice hockey is the physics of skating. Skating on ice is not as straightforward as it may seem. The ice surface creates a low friction environment, allowing the players to glide effortlessly. But how does this work? It all comes down to the molecules in the ice. When a skate blade comes into contact with the ice, the pressure exerted by the player's weight causes the ice molecules to melt. This thin layer of water between the skate and the ice reduces friction, enabling smooth gliding movement. Another key element of ice hockey is the interaction between the player and the puck. When a player shoots or passes the puck, they rely on the laws of physics to determine the trajectory and speed. For instance, Newton's third law states that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. When a player applies force to the puck, the opposite force is exerted on them. This interaction determines the speed at which the puck will move in the desired direction. Furthermore, the science of projectile motion plays a crucial role in understanding the flight path of the puck. The angle at which the puck is released, along with its initial velocity, determines its trajectory. The knowledge of these principles allows players to make accurate passes and take precise shots. It's no wonder that professional hockey players spend countless hours practicing their shooting skills to perfect their understanding of projectile motion. When it comes to scoring goals, the science of puck impact dynamics comes into play. Powerful slap shots are a common sight in the NHL, and they can reach incredible speeds. The skill of generating a powerful slap shot involves understanding the conservation of momentum. The player transfers momentum from their body to the stick and finally to the puck. By flexing the shaft of the stick and transferring kinetic energy efficiently, players can generate incredible power behind their shots. Leveraging these scientific principles can make the difference between a goal and a missed opportunity. Goalies also rely on physics to calculate the trajectory and speed of the incoming puck, allowing them to position themselves effectively and make crucial saves. Understanding the science behind ice hockey extends beyond player performance. The ice surface itself plays a significant role in the game. The temperature and the texture of the ice affect the player's performance and the puck's movement. Warmer ice causes more friction, leading to slower skating and less puck movement. Conversely, colder ice reduces friction, allowing for faster skating and puck movement. Even the shape of the hockey stick has its scientific significance. The curve of the blade and the flexibility of the shaft influence the way players handle the puck and make shots. These design features are carefully considered to maximize performance and adhere to the laws of physics. In conclusion, the science of ice hockey enriches our understanding and appreciation of the sport. From the physics of skating to the dynamics of puck movement, countless scientific principles are at play. Ice hockey is not just a game of brute force and skill, it's a perfect marriage between athleticism and science. So, the next time you watch an NHL game, take a moment to marvel at the intricate science happening on the ice.